Hello. Welcome to freeexcellearn.com. Today I will discuss about two dependent dynamic combo box. Let's go for example. There is two combo box and in this first combo box that means class combo box there are several of class that is class 1 class 2 3 4 5 and 6 so just click on this you see the data okay and in name combo box there is no data but when you click on any class that means when you click on class 2 the student of class 2 will be appear that is there is a student of class 2 is Nitish, Moina and Jinook ok sorry there has some mistake I am sorry for that and and please okay just click on this that means if you click on class 4 it will appear the student of class 4 jakir sultan and nasir jakir sultan and nasir if you click on class 5 the class 4 data will be changed and it convert to class 5 data that means class 5 data has a b and c there is a b and c okay you also look that if you input here class 7 and input here some name jamun sham haider robin ishan okay just see if you click on class 7 there is also in class 7 the class 7 data is also included in name combo box so this is our the task our first task will be to capture data from this class column and after that in second combo box we will add data regarding to this class okay and uh, here something I want to mention that actually to input data on a combo box I have already created a tutorial for this that was my last tutorial and the tutorial name is Excel combo box with sorting data so if you want to add data in a combo box you will see this video tutorial so I will not discuss about add data on class combo box I will just describe on name combo box data input okay so I am going to take a new project and I see you how you will take the data of name set okay let's go okay <coughs> okay for reducing the video tutorial time I copy 
this data and go for new task i just copy this and paste it to our new sheet that is sheet 2 okay here i am take a common button and show user form just click on project explorer and here i am taking a new user form a label for class and a label for student name okay here i am taking my first combo box that is for class and i also taking second combo box for showing a student name <coughs> sorry so i am doing this combo box task that means i copy this task to reduce my time as because i already make a video tutorial for this purpose so i am now dis discussing this section so just uh, here i have to change something that is as uh, it is user form 2 and the sheet is sheet 2 so i want to replace data first replace data to sswt sheet 2 replace all that means three replace okay fine and i also try to change user from to because this is for data user from to now i want to run and here i have to write some code that is user from to dot show okay just run and see okay this is all right there is all of data of class uh, i get everything next i want to do the next job that is i want to show the name regarding with this class okay so i am going to do the task that is from video uh, developer visual basic project explorer user form 2 okay in this matter as just see or listen uh, just concentrate that when I am clicking on this combo box just see when I am clicking on this combo box it will change 
or here the data will be input that means when i click on this combo box on that time that the data of student name will be changed that means uh, if i click on 4 that data will be changed to 4 if i click on 6 the data for of a student name will be delete and data of class 6 student will be entered here so now we will coding on this click event because i when i click on it it will be execute the function okay so let's go user form and this is combo box dot change event but i don't want to right now i want to declare something because uh, here i will declare two variable that is uh, not actually two i have to declare minimum four variable okay uh, that is four or five variable that is one for e column one for e column that means end of column and one for e row that is end of row and here i have to execute two loop one for this data reading and the another is for this data reading so i got four variable already and after that Mm, of course i have to declare a variable combo box value because as there is a combo box that means class combo box that has some value and this value we will be input on a variable so let's declare the variable team e call as integer team e row as integer team x as integer team y as integer and at last i will declare dim val co combo val combo val that means combo value combo val as a string because this actually it may not declare as a string but there is no problem if you uh, want to uh, declare but uh, no sorry uh, you can declare it as integer that will be better for comparing data in t z e r sir okay okay i want to stop this video tutorial because uh, this is already 14 more than 14 uh, minutes uh, so I am doing or going for another video tutorial that means I want to get the, go there for completing my video tutorial okay thank you